To the I team now, the owners of a defunct Georgia dairy farm agreed to pay $85,000 for causing a toxic spill that killed hundreds of fish. The fish kill happened after they let liquid waste called soil amendments leak into nearby Wilkes County River. Fox 9 I team reporter Randy Travis discovered more issues across our state. Randy? Yeah, luckily no other fish kills, but county leaders across Georgia complain these state regulated soil amendments create a horrible smell, attract flies, while at the same time, neighbors are in the dark about what's really the stuff being sprayed next door. It's legal, but you wouldn't know it by the reception we got in Jefferson County. They've done some of their own testing. He's, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't like us over here, does he? No, he doesn't. From beeps to bleeps. Y'all me the fuck off, bro. Y'all harassing us in damn April, bro, and I'm tired of it. He's tired of it. They've been here 65 days today, nine weeks. Nine weeks straight of spraying soil amendments on this cow pasture across the road. It's supposed to be a cheaper substitute for traditional fertilizer. Although this farmer isn't growing anything here, but grass for his cattle. People here don't know what's in it, but they say they know what it's doing to them. Smell like human rotten waste that you will use the bathroom in the yard all the time. Somebody gave that to my wife for a gift. Gene Brown has lived on Clarks Mill Road most of his adult life. At 78, he suffers from COPD. That one about burnt out too. Scented candles are now the only way the widower can fall asleep. Are you typically a candle guy? No, sir. I've never burned candles until the last 60 days. But that's not the only change around here. Fly's getting you now. Yeah, it's getting me now. You ain't seen nothing yet. Neighbors in other parts of Jefferson County recorded their own videos of soil amendments spraying by other companies. We just put these up today. And the huge number of flies that they say suddenly follow. We have just millions of flies. Others recorded vultures flying over freshly sprayed fields. They're not out here eating nitrogen. They're out here eating dead flesh. The issue came to a head this summer at a different spray site in Wilkes County. According to this consent order from the State Environmental Protection Division, soil amendment from cleaning and rinsing food grade pet food tanks in a Purina plant spilled out of a farm containment pond and poured into the river below. The soil amendment killed nearly 1,700 fish. Farmers David and Roger McAvoy agreed to clean up the mess and pay as much as $85,000 in fines. You guys go home though, they have to live across the street from it. Back in Jefferson County, there is no significant waterway near this spray site. Just neighbors like Mr. Brown, separated only by an unhelpful stretch of asphalt. This is a soil amendment. It is ran by the Department of Agriculture. This is to, I mean, if you look at the grass, it's green, it's getting green. That's what it's for. It's just liquid fertilizer, that's it. What is in it? Fertilizer, nitrogen. No, but I mean, what, where does it come from? What, what kind of fertilizer is it? Obviously, it's not granular, it's, it's liquid. No, it's so, where's it coming from? It comes from all over the place. Don't worry, we'll be out of here. I mean, we're about to be done with this property. We'll move on to another one. But rather than continue spraying while we watched, these lords of the flies angrily quit for the day. Video that. Then called the sheriff's office to complain our presence across the road was criminal harassment. It was not. What it really meant was a rare afternoon of fresh air for a retired farmer. Thank the Lord every day. And a day off for his collection of dollar store candles. Only the good Lord knows how long I'm gonna live, but this is gonna shorten it. Next week, the state hopes to finalize new rules on how soil amendments should be used. A lot of county leaders say, hey, make the rules uh, to allow us to be able to enforce uh, these soil amendments ourselves, regulate them ourselves rather than be a state regulated system. But I doubt that's going to be a, a change that's going to come mm. next week. Yeah, it's bad enough to look at the, the fly traps being full mm -hmm. of flies. Hard to imagine what that really smells like. Did you get a sense of, of that smell when you were there? We were told that we were fortunate because that day the wind was blowing toward the fields, not from the fields toward us. So we didn't get a chance mm. to really, I mean, I guess we are fortunate uh, yeah. the way it was described uh, by Mr. Brown there, but boy, yeah, I mean, Courtney, the flies were just terrible. And even a few miles away in Avery, the little town that's near this, this farm, they were telling me that they had uh, they'd never seen so many flies wow. since the soil amendments started to be sprayed in their community. So there's got to be a connection there. And I don't know how the state can regulate flies, but that's something that's certainly going to be on their agenda. How do you protect these communities? 
from being exposed to the, the downside of the soil amendment stuff. Right. Well, we heard the worker say that fertilizers from everywhere. So either he didn't know or he didn't want to say. Yeah, I got a feeling it's number two. Mm. All right, there you go. Randy, All right. thanks.